everyone. What a lovely sunny day. Oh, it's so exciting. Spring's here. Well, it's the first day of spring on Monday. And oh, it's the first of March, isn't it? Wow. And the sun's shining and it's got warm and it means we can go out and play. Oh, it's going to be great. So, tonight's story. I'm going to read you a story from the Magic and Mischief book and it's called The Wrong Side of the Bed. So if you're sitting comfortably, make sure you get in the right side of the bed. The Wrong Side of the Bed. Long, long ago, the wizard Tentos bought a marvellous bed. There were dragons carved at the head with long coil, coiling bodies and peacocks with spreading tails carved at the foot. The dragons had eyes of rubies and the peacocks had eyes of sapphire blue. So you can guess how strange they looked with their eyes gleaming in the dark of the night. The wizard liked the bed very much. He said it made him feel more like a wizard than ever. He had bought it from a witch. And when she sold it to him, she said, Ten toes, whatever you do, always get out on the right side of the bed. If you don't, you'll be sorry. She wouldn't tell him why, but she knew quite well. A bad-tempered little imp had made the bed for himself. and One day the witch had placed a spell upon him, got him into her power and taken the bed for her own. But she could not get rid of the little imp. He made himself invisible and squatted down beside his beautiful bed, of which he would not leave day or night. The witch found it out one morning by getting out on the side of the bed where the imp crouched. What a shock for her. He bit her foot and his sharp teeth sent poison into her, the poison of its own bad temper. And that day the witch couldn't do anything right how she scolded, how she raged, how she stumped her foot and frowned. It was terrible to see. She told, sold ten toes the bed, but she wouldn't say a word about the invisible imp that went with it, for she was afraid that if she did, he would not pay her so much money. The wizard was pleased with the bed. He slept well in it and was careful each morning to get out on the right side. One day he forgot. He was sleepy and got out the wrong side and he trod on the invisible imp who once, at once bit him in a rage. Dear, dear, said the wizard, surprised. I must have stepped on a pin. All that day things went wrong for Ten Toes. He lost his temper. He shouted and raged. He yelled at the man who came to clean the windows and he shook his fist at the woman who sold him potatoes. Really, he behaved very badly indeed. The bad temper poison was working very strongly on him. The next morning, Tentos got out the right side of the bed and things went well. The morning after, he got out on the wrong side and everything went wrong again because of his bad temper. He simply couldn't understand it. He met the witch and frowned at her so fiercely she was frightened and astonished. And then she suddenly thought of something. Did you get out the wrong side of this, the bed this morning? She called after him. The wizard stopped and thought. Yes, he had. Dear, dear, dear. So that explained his bad temper, did it? What a peculiar thing. Well, he would be careful to get out on the right side after that. That was hundreds of years ago. But it's a strange thing, isn't it? That we still say a bad-tempered person. You must have got out the wrong side of the bed. But now you know where that saying came from. So you must always get out the right side of the bed. Isn't that extraordinary? So I enjoyed reading that one. I like finding out things like that. <laughs> so I hope you sleep really well and I will see you again tomorrow for another silly story. I love you loads. So night night Ruby, night night Max, night night Atty. Night night Torben. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you soon. Love you.